And Yami B built the cabin. And Yami B planted the corn. Didn't they all tell you before me that I was king of the jungle? Now you look me with that scorn. Yet you ate up all my corn. We're going to chase those crazy. Good evening from Yami B TV. Now, many messages coming through about um, the video I put up the other day about Uncle Ray Hill and the response from um, the great fish, right? So some of you are saying, yeah, how's he talking like that? Saying about it's going to get heavy if it carries on with you and blah, blah. I'll explain that bit in a minute. Um, what Fish was really actually saying, well, Jam, I love you. You're my pal. We know all the same people and all that. Um, I love you, but I do raise my pal for longer and all that. So there's nothing wrong really with Fish um, sticking up for his pal, Uncle Ray Hill, right? Um, when he's talking about getting heavy and all that, what he's basically saying and what he said in other ways, right, was that he doesn't want it to get to that stage, not that he's going to come out and he's offering all my mates out all around the country. And if you're ready for World War Two and three, please, Yami, drop it out, right? So, with fish in the files, it's very interesting when I look through these files, right? That once he was one of the greatest crafters of all time fish from West London, right? And there's a lot of the same people as me. He's been on remand with me a couple of times. And he can look. Everything Fish says about himself is is really, really true, right? I remember there was meant to be a million pound in from a dip that he was supposed to put his hand in, in someone's handbag and he came out with a million pound worth of time. I don't know how true that is, uh, but rumour has it that Fish had the lucky touch. So there's not much else bad about Fish in my files, right? Now, with Uncle Ray... Um, no, we know he was a good grafter. Uh, we knew he could earn a pound. No. Um, and look, answering the questions, right? I don't, I'm not going to get involved in... Because um, when we did it that night, that video, there was loads of people in the room and they were laughing about Uncle Ray in a nice way. A nice way that he hadn't been getting paid from YouTube. So I thought it was since the immigrant thing and all that. That was why I started laughing, Right. And then a few other jokes are coming in that basically he's getting paid for whatever, whatever. I'm not going to get involved in all that. But we predicted that Uncle Ray would answer back within 45 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Ray. Um, and he comes up screaming and shouting and he, and he bit straight away. But really, it was a video by me done in poor taste and sarcastic. Uh, we buried the hatchet quite some time ago, uh, me and Ray Hill. Um, I feel a little bit guilty and probably have to apologise now um, for doing that video with sarcasm. In Porte, in, I just felt to start on him that night. But really, it's a liberty, Yami. Um, you're not meant to do that kind of stuff. But like I say, many of you find it quite funny sometimes. A little bit of comedy don't go um, too bad, but sometimes it's the way um, that we word stuff, right? Now... Regarding some of the things you lot are messaging me by, but he gets more women than you, Yami, and you went with other husbands' wives. Hold on, as far as I remember in life, I only went with one husband's wife, and she told me that they weren't together, right? So it's never happened anywhere else. So that doesn't mean it was every husband's wives. And I only get the mature women, and ain't got a lot of women around me. But hold on, I'm the lady sugar tree. I've got plenty of women, but without the women, I would have never sur 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 survived out here. Um, but he's probably saying it in that way. I'm a nobody. It's strange because the whole world knew me. Um, but no, we're not going to get into exactly what he said about living in a piss hole and a shit hole and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's all water off a duck's back to me because it's my fault for winding Uncle Ray up. All right. Now, look, what we say today, right, I will be seeing fish soon and I will video it when I see him, if you want. But what the team are asking for and many of you have asked him for, after all the ups, ups and downs with me and Ray Hill. And you remember, Ray Hill is from my area. You've got to remember that. He does know a lot of people. You remember, I've got Kevin Summer there, dropping, yeah, please, and all that. You know, there's, there's plenty of people around Ray Hill that are close to me, right? But a lot of people are asking, and they're still asking, why don't me and Uncle Ray Hill sit around the table? 
and see how it goes. We can put half on his show, put it all on his show, put it all on mine. I don't really care. Um, and I'm even prepared to let Fish um, sit in the middle of that discussion when me and Ray have it. So once again, I call on what the public are asking for and many others from our area, you know, uh, to do it as grown men, that kind of stuff, is that we still offer on the table a one-to-one -one with Uncle Ray Hill, all right? Um, but for now, I'm apologising in poor taste for that video. My sense of humour gets a bit silly sometimes. Uh, but no, um, I got that one wrong. And I apologise to Uncle Ray over that one, all right? Going live later on. See you all soon.